What's up, y'all? I'm going to take you through uh, how to set up a static IP address for your printer. Um, look, this is something that I kind of researched on and off, you know, just for it took me around two to three years to figure this issue out. Um, honestly, it was frustrating trying to call HP and uh, get this issue figured out, you know, but their representative was like, look, uh, we don't support your software. We don't support your printer anymore because our website doesn't have your software. Uh, let me let me just take you to HP's website real quick. You know, I know I'm going off on a, a tangent here. Okay, but this is my this is the model number for my my wireless printer, and voila. Okay, HP clearly had my software. So. Obviously, I was frustrated. I said, you know what? They're not going to be able to help me figure out this issue. Um, let me figure this out myself. So I found out the solution, okay? To make this nice, sweet, and simple, I'm just going to dive straight into this. I'm going to try to give you guys the, the most layman's explanation possible, and uh, at the same time, I'll give you a technical explanation. So to resolve this issue, what you need to first do is find out your printer's IP address. How can you find out what your printer's IP address is? You can simply go to Google, how to find your printer's IP address, or just do this, okay? Go to your control panel. How do you get to your control panel? If, you, if you're really not really tech savvy, you can just type in control panel, bam, and click on that, okay? Once you're in control panel, get your Get, click on hardware and sound and then click on devices and printers and that should take you here. You'll see your printer, right click on that. Click on printer properties. Um, you see mine has two, that's because I installed the software twice. Most likely you're just gonna have one on there. So just click on that. So I've already set this up for mine's, but most likely yours is gonna, you're gonna go, it's gonna show up in general, click on the ports and then scroll down until uh, you see where the check mark is and that is your IP address, okay? So you just hover your, your mouse pointer, that's gonna show your IP address. Uh, I have already set mine up to a static IP address, so that, that was mine's. So what you need to do is just take that 192.168.1.108 or you know whatever yours shows and you're gonna type that into the address bar. Um, mine's different because you know I've already set the, the static IP address right there so I'll take you to the page so uh, once you get to the page you know you just you know copy paste that into your address press enter it'll you know populate this page right here and then go to networking click on IPv4 configuration Yours is gonna be ticked on the automatic IP. Change, change that by clicking onto manual IP and what you'll want to do is type in this new IP address. This is a manual, this should work for everybody, okay? Just take this in, same information and change everything you see here. So change preferred DNS address, alternate DNS address to what I have here on the screen. Uh, go ahead and pause that, change it if you needed to, um, and then just click save. My uh, webcam is blocking it, but you should be able to save it. If not, if it doesn't save automatically, this there might not be a save button, but if there's not, it should change automatically, okay? Then go to IPv6 configuration and just disable that. It should be a disable button. Your page might look differently you know, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. The whole point is every printer should have a networking page and they should have the IPv4 config and IPv6 configuration uh, uh, link or tab. Um, so once you have that done, great. You're pretty much set, you're almost set, okay? Once you're there, just go back to your printer properties and make sure that when you choose the port click the new port with 
click the port or no no it's not gonna be there yet so what you have to do is add port uh, just do HP standard port and okay you know what I'll, I might as well let's next and then you just type in the, uh, the the manual IP address that you put in on this page here so for example if it's 192.168 then what you would do is let's go back here put that in there you're set just click next confirm whatever okay once you have that done untick everything else and just make sure that you tick the port that has the new manual IP address that you set up for your printer okay if this doesn't resolve your issue I honestly don't know what's going to resolve the issue okay if your printer is falling asleep and it's disconnecting from the computer uh, what this will do is hopefully resolve all those issues okay if you, to get through the technical explanation here, I'm assuming what's going on is that your printer, what your printer, what your real, what your wireless printer has right now is a DHCP IP address, and you know what that is is what what that is is essentially uh, is it's changing your IP address um, from time to time. You know, it's not constantly changing, but you know maybe. Within a week, it'll change. Maybe within an hour, it'll change. Maybe the next morning, it'll change to a different IP address. And what's going on is, I'm assuming that your your computer is set up so that you know it's only recognizing the printer's IP address that you know it currently has at that moment. So once the IP address changes on your printer, then your computer no longer recognizes that and you know, you're going through that issue where it's not printing or it's just, you know, the software is not working and you're just losing your mind. Um, and, you know, you have to reinstall the software and, and then once you reinstall the software and then it re-recognizes the new IP address, whatever, yada, yada. Um, and hopefully, you know, by changing to static IP address, that printer is that IP address that's coming from the printer is not constantly changing and your computer is just going to recognize it and uh, you know it will stay connected it will stop disconnecting hopefully I really hope this solved your issues it solved mine's you know it's something that you know I was kind of looking at on and off I don't really print much but when I need to print something you know it's it's annoying that the printer just never works wirelessly or whatever and you know I'll have to plug into the USB or whatever I'll have a laptop maybe I'll have a different computer uh, I don't know maybe your kids can maybe your roommates computer is disconnecting he's asking me, hey man what's going on so hopefully this resolves the issue um, if not like comment subscribe I'm, li I'm, on I'm really only posting this because you know I was so excited to finally get this working the printer's been working fine now for uh, two weeks uh, it hasn't disconnected um, and I've it's like rekindling a relationship or something I don't know I was literally gonna toss this printer out uh, just dump it out and just trash it and get a new computer and get a new printer but I, I wasn't even sure if getting a new printer would resolve the issue uh, I, I was under the assumption that perhaps my printer was, you know, three to four years old. It didn't have the hardware to support uh, wirelessly printing from multiple computers. Um, when in fact it does, is merely just a matter of setting up a static IP address. Um, so, you know, if maybe you have a small office, this could help out, you know, you won't have to spend, you know, thousands of dollars on that super expensive, uh, super expensive printer. All right, thank you.